Welcome to our video on No ESP, No Problem, Transform Your Fallout 4 World with these game-changing F4SE plugins. If you're a fan of Fallout 4 modding, you probably know that the game's ESP file limit can be a real pain. But fear not, because F4SE plugins are here to save the day. In this video, we'll show you some of the best F4SE plugins that will transform your Fallout 4 experience, without adding to your ESP count. So sit back, relax, and let's dive in. At first, we're going to take a look at a mod that fixes some glitches related to third-person behavior in the game. The mod is called Third-Person Behavior Fixes by Bingle, and it's available on Nexus mods. One of the glitches that this mod fixes is the reload animation, restarting when you sneak and move or sprint in third-person. This can be very annoying and immersion-breaking, especially if you're using a weapon with a long reload time. With this mod installed, the reload animation will continue smoothly regardless of your movement or stance. Another glitch that this mod fixes is the sprint speed not being affected by your speed mult value in third person. Speed mult is a variable that determines how fast you can move, and it can be changed by perks, effects, or console commands. However, in vanilla Fallout 4, your sprint speed in third person is always the same regardless of your speed mult value. This can make you feel like you're running too slow or too fast, depending on your settings. With this mod installed, your sprint speed in third person will match your speed mult value, making it more consistent and realistic. The last glitch that this mod fixes is the FOV effect in sprint. In vanilla Fallout 4, when you sprint in third person, the camera zooms out slightly and the edges of the screen get blurred. This is supposed to create a sense of motion and speed, but some people may find it distracting or nauseating. With this mod installed, you can disable this effect completely, or adjust its intensity to your liking. The Third Person Behavior Fixes mod is an essential mod for anyone who enjoys playing in third-person view. It improves the gameplay experience by fixing several glitches and making the player behavior more consistent and realistic. So, if you're tired of dealing with these glitches in vanilla Fallout 4, be sure to give this mod a try. At second, we're going to talk about the Fallout 4 Auto Backup Mod, a simple but incredibly useful tool that every modder should have in their arsenal. Have you ever updated your game to the latest version only to find out that your favorite mods aren't compatible with it yet? Or worse, have you ever lost all your progress because of a corrupted save file? If you have, then you know how frustrating it can be. But fear not, because the Fallout 4 Auto Backup Mod is here to save the day. This mod automatically stores different versions of your Fallout 4, X file in backup folders, so you'll always have a backup in case you need to revert to an older version of the game. And the best part is that it does all of this automatically, so you don't have to worry about a thing. Let's say you've updated your game to version 1.10, 163, but your F4 SE and other mods aren't compatible with it yet. No problem. Simply restore your previous Fallout 4 EXE file from the backup folder, and you can continue playing with your mods without any issues. And, it's not just for game updates. This mod also comes in handy if you're testing different mods and want to switch back and forth between different versions of the game. Or, if you've accidentally deleted your Fallout 4 EXE file, you can easily restore it from the backup folder. By default, the mod creates an additional auto-backup executable folder inside the folder where Fallout 4 is installed. F4SE works by backing up Fallout 4 EXE in that folder. In the case of Mod Organizer 2, an auto backup executable folder is created in the overwrite root folder. The Fallout 4 auto backup mod is a must have for any modder or player who wants to keep their game safe and stable. It's easy to use lightweight and doesn't require any configuration. So what are you waiting for? Download this mod today and never worry about losing your progress or mods again. Are you tired of the clunky and outdated favorites menu in Fallout 4? Now try designing your Favorites menu more sensibly through Favorites Menu X. This mod completely overhauls the Favorites menu, giving it a sleek new design inspired by the companion wheel in Fallout, New Vegas. Instead of a messy list of items, you now have a circular menu that makes it easy to access your favorite weapons, armor, and items. The mod also allows you to assign up to 12 items to the Favorites menu, and you can even customize the order of the items to your liking. This means that you no longer have to scroll through Pip-Boy of items to find what you need in the heat of battle. In addition to its functional improvements, the Favorites Menu X mod also adds some visual flair to the game. 
The menu is now fully customizable, allowing you to choose from a range of colors and styles to suit your preferences. The Favorites Menu X mod is a must-have for any Fallout 4 player who wants to streamline their inventory management and enhance their gameplay experience. So what are you waiting for? Download the mod today and see for yourself how it can revolutionize your gaming experience. In this time, we're going to talk about a mod that will fix a very frustrating bug that affects many perks, spells, and abilities in the game. The mod is called MGEF Condition Bug Fix by Bingle. Now this mod is based on Bug Fixes SSE, which is a mod for Skyrim Special Edition that fixes various bugs in the game engine. One of these bugs is the Magic Effect Condition Bug, also known as the Nerd Rage Bug. This bug affects many perks, spells, and abilities in Fallout 4, and can ruin your gameplay experience if not fixed. Let's take Nerd Rage, for example. Nerd Rage is a perk that gives you a boost of damage resistance, damage output, and AP regeneration when your health drops below 20%. However, if you have this perk for too long, it stops working properly. The game stops checking the condition of your health, and the perk never activates when you need it. This bug happens due to a floating point error in the game engine that causes the condition check to fail after a certain amount of time. It affects not only Nerd Rage, but any other perk, spell, or ability that has a condition attached to it. For example, Lone Wanderer, which gives you bonuses when you travel without a companion, or Chemist, which increases the duration of chem effects. The MGEF Condition Bug Fix mod solves this problem by fixing the condition check function in the game engine. It's a simple but effective tool that will improve your gameplay experience and make sure that your perks, spells, and abilities work correctly. It requires F4SE and address library for F4SE plugins to work, but it's definitely worth it. So, if you're tired of dealing with the Nerd Rage bug or any other similar bugs in Fallout 4, I highly recommend downloading and installing the MGEF Condition Bug Fix mod. Your gameplay experience will be much smoother and you won't have to worry about your perks and abilities failing when you need them the most. At fifth, we're going to take a look at the Robco Patcher mod. This mod is a powerful patcher based on F4SE and Common Lib F4 that lets you customize your game in many ways. You can change things like ammo types, NPCs, races, weapons, and much more. Robco Patcher can fix compatibility issues, balance your game, or customize your experience to your liking. To use this mod, you'll need to download mods that are made with Robco Patcher. Some popular mods include Natural Resistances, Better Locational Damage, Robco Patch, or Robco Patcher, Leveled List Template. Each of these mods will come with their own INI file that tells the patcher what to do. It's over. Better Locational Damage is a mod that overhauls the combat system, making it more realistic and challenging. It changes things like damage values, headshots, armor penetration, limb damage, and much more. However, it requires many patches for other mods that add or change NPCs or weapons. Robco Patcher Leveled List Template is a mod that lets you add weapons to the game easily. You simply need to enter the plugin name and the form ID of the weapon and choose where you want it to appear. Natural Resistances is a mod that overhauls the races of Fallout 4 and adds fire, cryo, and electrical resistances. As you can see, the Robco Patcher mod is incredibly versatile and can be used to create a custom game experience tailored to your preferences. Give it a try and see how it can enhance your Fallout 4 gameplay. If you've ever experienced FPS drops or stuttering while playing the game, you may have wondered if there was anything you could do to improve performance. That's where Fallout Priority comes in. Fallout Priority is an F4SE plugin that elevates the CPU priority of the game process. This means that when you're playing Fallout 4, the game will be given a higher priority for CPU resources than other processes running on your system. The result? Increased FPS and less stuttering caused by other processes competing for resources with the game. By elevating the game's CPU priority, you're essentially telling your computer to focus on running Fallout 4 as smoothly as possible. Installing Fallout Priority is easy. Simply download it from Nexus Mods and place the plugin in your Fallout 4 data folder. You'll also need to have F4SE installed, which is a script extender required by many Fallout 4 mods. 
Once you have Fallout Priority installed, you can start playing Fallout 4 with the peace of mind that your game will have more CPU resources available, resulting in a smoother gameplay experience. And that's it for our video on No ESP, No Problem. Transform your Fallout 4 world with these game-changing F4SE plugins. We hope you found some plugins that you're excited to try out in your game. Remember, F4SE plugins are a great way to enhance your Fallout 4 experience without adding to your ESP count, so don't be afraid to experiment with them. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more Fallout 4 modding content. Thanks for watching.